Good morning everyone. My name is Fee from Bits and Bytes and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a free Minecraft server on Artenos. So once you have loaded up Artenos on your internet browser, you can head off to the play button which is on the bottom right hand, si right hand side. You click on that, it will take you to a sign up page. In my case, I already have a Artenos account which, where I can just have a username and password then log in. Or you can also sign in with your Google account to create a Artenos account. But in, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to sign up with a new account. So when you click sign up, you get to the option to choose your username. So let's say um, um, bit tester as our username. As you can see, it's green because it's available. So I'm going to click agree to the top of the servers. You can read that if you want to. And I'm going to read that my personal data is in the storage process. You can also read these um, if you want. So once you click next, you're given the option to um, choose your password. It has to be a strong password. And you're also given, given um, the optional um, section to have your address this is for when you lose your password to your art nurse account you can have your email address to um, cover that password and you can also have still have the option to sign into Google account once you type in your password you're gonna click sign up so I'm just gonna use the same password as Click sign up. Once you click sign up, you'll be greeted to a service homepage. You will see advertising all around this. It's just like you know, it's not necessary so that you get money from advertising. So you, you click create a server to create your server. You'll be greeted with your server options. So you can see the server IP address is this is bittester.artinus.me. You can change this to whatever you want as long as it has been has been created already, right? So let's for example let's put in my Minecraft server has an IP address. And when you click save, it will show you this IP address exists already. It means that you can't use this IP address and you can use another one. Or let's just set it back to bit tester for this. So that can use the server. You can also create the server as a Java edition, or you can use it as a Bedrock edition. You can only have one ser one server on one account. You can create to create the server, and you get to this um, landing page, right? You can see it. I'm kind of vanilla version 1.17.1. This is my server IP address, and if you go to options here, you'll be greeted to the more advanced options to the server. You can also change the server icon by going to this side of the page. And you can see the max player starts 20, game mode is survival on default, difficulty is on easy on default. Whitelist meaning you can have a list of people that are only allowed to go to the server. So you have like friends only, you can click enable, then you can go to like the players section and add those um, Usernames to the server, and if you are running like T launch or any cracked version of Minecraft, you can click um, enable um, cracked version. Right, it's the same thing applies when you're when you go into an Artemis um, account and you don't have an Artemis server, sorry, and the username is invalid, it means that you have to turn on from you have to enable cracked mode, right? And you can see these are normal stuff. I think I don't have to explain what PvP is, animals, and nether. And so you go to server, you click start. You might even select yes, accept. So it's start the server. You can hit announce some notifications if you want. Once it's gonna load the server, but you might also on your side get like waiting in queue depending on like the severity of 
how many people are going to go on autonomous, but in my case, I don't have a queue, so I'm going to let the server run, I'm going to switch over to Minecraft now to join my server. Be right in a second. So once your server is now online, you can see there's a timer for of 6 minutes for people to join your server before the server shuts down automatically. You can see it's online, you have 2.4 gigs of RAM, 0 20 players, and you can see this is the server IP address you can copy. We go to Minecraft, this is the remove edit, delete that, show you how to connect to the server. You can have any name you want, you can say I'm going to place it here. Then click join server and I should be in the server see I'm in the Minecraft server one out of two players and that's how you make a Artemis server and I hope you like this video please leave a like and comment in the next tutorial I'll, I'll show you how to um, add mod and plugins and all of that stuff in Artemis be sure to leave a subscribe as well take care stay safe thanks